If you own a vacation rental in Austin, you'll want to check your licensing. The city says there are about 11,000 short-term rentals in the city, but less than 2,000 of them have city licenses. You could be fined up to $2,000 for not having one, but the city also admits it's hard to keep up. KXN's Tahara Rutman explains how a new resolution just passed by the city council aims to help. Laura Martinez tries to keep her short-term renters entertained and informed. Here we have all the rules. That's because complaints like noise could put her license with the city in jeopardy. If they consider that there was two strikes on you, for instance, uh, they'll consider not to renew your application. Martinez is actually a rare breed here in Austin. She's only one of less than 2,000 short-term property owners that's licensed with the city. And now some city council members want to change that. It is challenging to enforce. City council member Kathy Tovo's resolution will bring in companies like Airbnb to help Austin's code department. This measure really just makes sure that any platforms like the RBO or any other vacation rental platforms are making sure that properties have a license before they allow them to advertise. She says licensing helps the city track rentals and make sure they're following code and the fees add to the city's coffers. I think it's going to take a while for them to clean this up. Martinez and Tovo think the rule enforcement may also help free up Austin homes for longer term rent or for sale. It's just like, oh, OK, they caught up on what we're doing. So let's go somewhere else. Sahira Rahman, KXAN News. Resolution sponsor Kathy Tovo says the city manager now has to figure out how to work with the vacation rental platforms and what penalties that they might face for not enforcing the city's license requirement. The resolution also directs the city manager to create an online database of licensed short-term rentals.